This is Cornerstone Community Center in Green Bay, Wisconsin, home to the Women's World Challenge 2023 presented by City. Let's take a closer look at the moments and the people that make this event so special. I got the glamour shot coming in. <laughs> Can you guys help me? Um, I need to move my sled in, but and then I'll come join. I want to make sure we have enough, so we can hand out to all of you. What are those? You want to show me on the camera here? They're USA pins. Thank you. Team USA came in about a week early, and we've done a lot of time on and off the ice together, doing some extra bonding, learning our new plays, new systems, and really things to up our level on the ice this year. Here we're gonna do what we did yesterday. We're gonna do breakouts in place. We're gonna do. A, five, a line versus three um, four checkers, and then we got the four. We're gonna do a little bit of that five on five. Yes, coach. Let's get pucks over here too, please. We really like communicate well. I love it. We look tight. I like what? Is, I think it's amazing. I love it so much. Yeah, we we practiced this morning. Everything's looking great, and uh, we're excited. It's gonna be exciting, and I'm hoping we have a lot of people watching. Yeah, the favorite part is that I met uh, a lot of girls. We practice together on ice and we've got a really good coach, so it's really nice to be here at all. Everything is great. Uh, so we've been training together for two days now and we're hoping to look like a hockey team and uh, beat those great Britain women out there. What was the answer? We are ready! <laughs> One world! <laughs> there he is! Welcome to your first game. I have every confidence that we are going to have a good performance and that we will be victorious in this game. Every player has a job. You should know what your jobs are. Don't do anything else. Just do your job. Of course, Elizabeth is our starting goalie for this game. For me, I never really had the jitters as a player. Hockey was where I felt at home, and I think it's the same for refereeing. A gear switches in my head that it's game time and I go. I have like the butterflies in my stomach and I'm really excited to see what's what's what and I've never worked with any of the refs we have today so it's gonna be just fine because I'm with Yvonne who has like more experience than years of living that I have because mm -hmm. I'm only like 21 and she's been repping for way more I think. Am I wrong? <laughs> so you meet people all over the country, let alone the world. It's fun getting to know other people who are kind of have the same passion. We're going to play ice ball. Okay. It's basically oh, pass, shoot, and score. On your feet! Yeah! <laughs> Adjustments to the sled, and now we're seeing what's going well and what's not. It, it's not good. This my problem is uh, my boots touch uh, the ice. You need more like bounce in the front of the sled. But just some modification, um, the add uh, a loops for support. Yeah, and then uh, attaché, and then yeah, kind So you're just constantly problem solving for these unique situations. <laughs> not always <But> yeah. correctly. <laughs> What's the plan for today? Sleep. Sleep? Yeah, we're gonna go take a nap. We're gonna take a little nap upstairs. Yeah, I got my head hit by a puck by her. You hit me in the head too. You in the in the straight in the noggin. A lot of people go, oh, you've got a disability, you must be a gentle person. And then I tell them that I play this, and they go, oh wait, you're a hockey player. Great for showing people that actually we are people still. Um, the smell of the ice, actually, I, I, that's the first thing I noticed when I went into a, the ice rink for the first time back home, was the doors open and you can smell the ice and it's really quite a nice, nice smell and I thought, I think I might like this here. So I heard you had a pretty exciting morning. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's one of my bucket lists to go right on the Zamboni. I was you, capturing the moments. You were capturing the moments? Yeah, she was okay, just I'm gonna need that footage. And I get to beat the horn and all that, right? <laughs> Oh, bucket list, like I say, cross off. It's fascinating the way they use their speed and the upper body strength is unreal. The game's way more physical than I thought it would be, to be honest. Like, you see girls just running into each other out here, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so third of the game, 
she's the type of, of player who's always willing to get better and do the right thing in order to get better. So I'm gonna give this for to Venison. This is pre-war. <laughs> no way we always say, let's do the most important thing first. And that would be to applaud you. And to perform like this. It is nothing short of amazing. I'm so proud to be your coach in a game like this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, my life been flipped upside down when I got amputated. So just being around people that are similar to me, it just helped me to to realize that my life is not like done. Like I have like many years ahead of me. I can realize my dream. I can have a family. I can uh, find a good job. I can study. I can do anything I want. I wouldn't be the person that I am if I not been part of a team uh, after my amputation. So. Team USA takes home the gold. So there you have it, Ann. Uh, four days of World Para Ice Hockey now officially closed. We still need Alec. <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> I've been chasing the Paralympic dream for a long time, you see, so that's actually just, um... I think it's the fact that we jumped feet first, you know, into this, into this world and we're, we're chasing this dream, but when we started it, it didn't feel a reality. The, the more that we get involved, the, the more competitions that we attend, the more conversations that are being had, the more countries that send players here, the more it feels like we might get there. And I think it's that hope. Yeah. <laughs>